What is up? I'm Fox and it is Wednesday, October 3rd. Welcome back to Foxy Games UK, your aggregate source of gaming news. Now, for your information, a quick heads up. Whether you're a subscriber, patron or occasional viewer, regarding how Foxy Games UK is growing and expanding for the future, especially with the next generation PlayStation and Xbox looming, I would like to be at the forefront of console generation 9 in terms of this channel. So I'm pleased to announce Foxy Games UK has partnered with BadFishMerch.com to produce Foxy Foxy Games UK branded tees initially coming in two colours, white and grey, and just because... But winter is coming. We're working on some super fly Foxy Games UK hoodies coming soon. Also, BadFishMerch.com. Its company director reached out to Foxy Games UK, kindly offering to feature as a special guest in a future video to detail more. BadFishMerch.com told me they were big fans of this channel and wanted to reach out to work with me. Now, over the past four years that Foxy Games UK has been a thing, I've received countless business opportunities, really, companies and organizations from all over the world, though. If I am to work with any entity, it has to fit with the FG UK brand, ethics, and all. I refuse to be motivated just by a stack of cash if it doesn't fit what I do. Similarly, I had to deliberately resist Patreon and feature ads on this channel for the first three years as I was primarily focused on growing a base and delivering the game news that you care about. But as we all know, stuff doesn't pay for itself. So if you'd like to support Foxy Games and grab a tea today for just $20 or 20 UK pounds or the equivalent, a small percentage will go to helping Foxy Games UK grow. Thank you for your unwavering support, trust and input in our video comments it means everything to know so many enjoy what i do okay so with that being said let's get into some news and so it seems more and more developers are starting to talk about the next generation quite literally almost on a daily basis which can only mean we are at the tail end of this generation and the next xbox and playstation 5 may be here sooner than you think a link to the following gaming bolt article can be found in this video's description PlayStation 5, next Xbox, and increased processing power won't make our lives any easier, says a developer. Here's the full story. It's interesting to see all these rumours about next-gen consoles, especially when so many developers have current-gen releases planned throughout 2019 and beyond. Will the PlayStation 5 really release by 2019 end, much less spring 2020? Will Xbox Scarlet, or whatever it ends up being called, receive more details at E3 2019? Now, of course, nobody can be totally sure at this point outside of Sony and those decision makers. However, close to the sun by the developer Storm in a teacup in one such game that will be releasing in quarter 1st, 2019, a survival horror title developed using the Unreal Engine 4. It will be releasing for Xbox One, PS4 and PC. Now, Gaming Bolt recently sat down and spoke to the developer and the studio CEO's artistic director, Carlo Bianchi, about the upcoming next generation of consoles and expectations from a development perspective for the next PlayStation and Xbox. Here's what he had to say. Honestly, have no expectations beyond the obvious. More processing power, more and faster RAM. The problem is the business is already tough. Players always want more year after year. Adding more processing power helps to untie a developer's hands a little bit, if that makes sense. But the downside to that is doing so requires an even bigger budget. Though having more power and creating larger games is all well and good, when it comes to adva advancing the medium, there's no guarantee that players will get everything, Bianchi states. As results, more power is nice, but it, it doesn't necessarily make our lives any easier. Indeed, it risks players being promised something only the biggest of studios can deliver, if that isn't already the case. Here's a quote. When I was working in the movie industry, we had a saying, the more power you give us, the more we will make things fancier, and in the end, the more it will cost you. What a beautiful but stressful world we live in. Given the number of studio closures that have taken place this year and how many games are embracing the games as a service model, it really does make you think. What are your thoughts on what the next generation holds? What are your expectations for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Next? Naturally, Many fans were left utterly surprised Sony canned PlayStation experience this year, especially given Microsoft are reviving their own XO conference, while others are indifferent about the situation. Perhaps they understand we're on the cusp of a shift from Gen 8 to Generation 9. Writer Peter Finaldi at SickCritic.com has made some interesting points and arguments also, and the full article has been linked 
in the video description. Here's what Finaldi had to say. Truth be told, Sony's last few conferences have been low energy, less exciting affairs, though I enjoyed many. E3 2017 and 2018 featured no new games, with the exception of Ghost of Tsushima and The Last of Us Part II debuting at the event. The last conference that blew us away was Sony's E3 2016, PlayStation Experience 2016 and Paris Games Week in 2017, all providing incredible first, second and third party reveals. The likes of Ghost of Tsushima, Concrete Genie, Erica and another knockout The Last of Us Part II trailer and really i couldn't agree more though some background movement has been going on as well behind closed doors at sony hq significant changes have occurred and many would argue for the better for instance sony changed their policy on crossplay for fortnite and promised to continue that change for future third-party titles and playstation now recently updated to allow ps4 and playstation 2 downloads rivaling that of xbox game pass even older ps3 exclusives are going offline which is a potential indicator that playstation network is going to experience a seismic restructuring process in preparation for the next console which will evidently bring with it the ability to change playstation network id well but last but not least shuhei yushida has said playstation vr will face a huge content push with legitimate games launching on the platform and improvement to the playstation vr technology itself obviously prepping the device for playstation 5 connectivity as disappointing as the cancellation of playstation experience appears this can only be good news for Sony's future. Conferences will have to be bigger from here on out. The PlayStation 5 shadow looms ahead, and 2019 is the perfect time to announce the machine and its library, being that it is Sony's 25th anniversary. PlayStation 4 is ending its life with a bang, so what better to treat it by letting the game speak for themselves? A console's final years is often its greatest, with Sony listening to the gamers and adding cross-play support on their platform and downloadable PS4 slash PS2 games on the PlayStation PlayStation Now service, it's clear they want to start next gen on the right foot, just like they did with 2013. Let us know what you think in the comments. Girl, you'll be a woman soon. And as usual, a link to all content covered today can be found in this video's description. Share your thoughts and opinions on today's news because that unfortunately brings us to the end of another video. But let's continue the discussion in the comments. And for more PS4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch and next-gen news updates, subscribe to Foxy Games UK. And remember to hit the notification bell so you never miss content. Thumbs up if you like the video. And help us reach more like-minded gamers simply by sharing the video. A big massive thank Thank you to our latest Patreon supporters, Jay Morales and Hans Owasoro. And of course, pre-existing patrons, you know who you are. I really appreciate your support. And if you really like what I do, show some love, support the cause, consider supporting Foxy Games UK via Patreon. You'll find a link in this video's description. Much appreciated. So there we have it. Until the next video, always remember, play games, not corporations.